Welcome students. My name is Dr. Johnson Oko. I'm going to be your facilitator for this course, BFN 301, Practice of Banking. I'm sure we are going to have a very smooth ride. The course is going to be very conversational, it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be very interactive. I solicit for your apt and rapt attention. The topic for today is banking operations in Nigeria. Banking operations in Nigeria. Yes, banking operations or banking activities is not strange to any of us. I'm sure in one way or the other, you may have been transacting with the banks, even if you don't have bank accounts, which I think most of us, as a date, will have one account or the other. But as students, I know too well too, that you pay your fees, you pay your school fees through the banks. So banking and banking operations is not strange to any of us. So what we're going to do today is to learn, relearn and unlearn those things that we have been doing and do more. We're going to also look at how theory has it and compare it with what we have in the real life. That is the actual banking operations. So I trust that together we would have an exciting experience. So let's look at the major objectives we have today at line for this course. At the end of this class, you should be able to one, trace the origin of commercial banks in Nigeria, two, trace the establishment of the Central Bank of Nigeria, and three, discuss the fundamental roles and functions of the Central Bank of Nigeria. So these cardinal objectives will be achieved at the end of today. First, we are looking at the origin of commercial banks in Nigeria. Commercial banking activities is traceable to 1892. That was when the first commercial bank was established in Nigeria. And the name of this bank is called African Banking Corporation, ABC. So we should know as students of banking and finance that banking activities actually started in 1892 with a bank called Africa Banking Corporation, ABC. Banking legislation never existed until 1952. That is to say, banking activities were carried haphazardly. There was no official regulation to, 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 to actually standardize the activities of banks and the banking operations until the legislation of 1952. In fact, that is the first banking ordinance in Nigeria. So another point that will have to be noted is that the banking ordinance, first banking ordinance started, or first banking ordinance was, um, uh, first banking ordinance held in 1952. So it is a point of note. Then we had some foreign banks that were established there. These foreign banks were Three, the British Bank for West Africa, BBWA, the Barclays Bank, and the British and French Bank. These were three banks that were in existence at the point of the first banking ordinance of 1952. 
we also had some indigenous banks. And these indigenous banks were the National Bank of Nigeria and the African Continental Bank. So we should take note of this bank as they are very, very important. It is also good to note that as, as a date, we have some commercial banks that are in operations in Nigeria. Although some of them have come and gone with the process of time, but it's good to get to know some of these banks, which I know even as students, you have accounts in some of these banks. So we have the Zenith Bank, we have the Force Bank, we have the GT Bank, we have the Access Bank, we have the FCMB, that's the First City Monument Bank. We have the United Bank for Africa. We have the Echo Bank and all that. Even in this picture, you also have Diamond Bank, but it is of note that you know that Diamond Bank does not exist any longer. It was acquired by Access Bank. So, having exposed us to the commercial banking activities, how it started, we are going to look at the establishment of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Central Bank of Nigeria stands at the apex of banking activities in Nigeria. It superintends, it supervises, it regulates the banking operations in Nigeria. The Central Bank of Nigeria was actually established in 1957. That was following the ordinance, the first ordinance, the first ordinance of 19, Fed Banking Ordinance of 1952. How to give room, how to make provision for the conduct, proper conduct of banks. So the Fed Bank, Banking Ordinance of 1952 gave rise to the establishment of Central Bank of Nigeria in 1957, but it didn't start operation until July 1st. 1959. So we should take note of this, for it is very important. Then we we'll look at the roles of the central bank. Central bank plays some fundamental roles or functions. We need to know them as students of banking and finance. These roles include the monopoly of note issue. Custodian of exchange reserves and pro being the promoter of economic growth and development. It also serves as banker to the government and banker to commercial banks, as well as controller of credit. So it is important to get ourselves acquainted to this. Central Bank of Nigeria, for instance, we said the monopoly of note issuance is the only bank that can issue currencies. Here we talk about currencies. Currency in Nigeria is Naira and Kobo. The Kobo is in coins. So, for instance, this is an example of 1,000 Naira notes, and this is an example of 500 Naira notes. You also have other denominations. So central bank plays some fundamental rules that help to control or supervise the banking activities in Nigeria. So control central bank, controls and regulates the banking system, serves as banker to other banks in Nigeria, and carries out government economic policy in the monetary field. Just yesterday, government, that's the central bank, has reduced the monetary policy rate to 11.5%. And there have been arguments. We will come to that in the course of this case. This is one of the functions of the central bank. That is, money, that is managing the monetary policy and also propelling economic growth and development of the nation. So students, it is important for us to get acquainted to this 
as it is very, very uh, necessary. So, region of banks, we have also been able to look at the establishment of central bank, and we have also looked at the functions of the central bank of Nigeria. I'm sure you've had a wonderful experience. Thank you. See you in next class as we discuss different types of banks in Nigeria. Thank you.